Uh, hi guys, how are you? Type A here. So today we're going to be doing a simple tutorial for beginners and uh, two, two different methods for doing the side chain or docking in Bigwig. Um, it's uh, super simple to set up them. Uh, some uh, This one, this first method using the Dynamics devices, of course, like native, all, all Bigwig. Um, the second method that I'm going to use is using the Gatekeeper plugin that I'm going to show you right now. So it pretty much sounds like this when you have it uh, using the Dynamics. Okay, so the way I set up this is uh, I have in a drum machine my kick and my snare. Um, each time my kick and my snare sounds, uh, it sends a signal that I'm picking up with the Dynamics device. If you go here, you can set up a, you know, you, you basically tell the compressor which signal is going to trigger the, the device. But I'm not using exactly the kick and the snare because there's a, a known problem that if you use a, a sample with a lengthier like release, uh, it's going to take longer for the compressor to act and trigger it again when you hit another like uh, the same sample or, or a different one so what people do in these cases is to use a, a third signal uh, a tiny a short like loud click that is going to trigger the compressor fast enough at a, a basically loud volume um, and that's what you're going to use to basically to to set the, the device on and like dock the signal so for that I'm using the, the E-hat, uh, there's nothing special about it, I, I just have it muted here, but it sounds like this. You can see here it's speaking, but it doesn't matter, I simply crank the volume up and I'm turning to mute. And simply when I go here, uh, I say uh, side trigger pre, pre-fader, so it's going to uh, send the signal, but you're not going to be able to hear it, so that's what we want. And once you're in the device, let me let me just simply load a new one, Dynamics here, and it's going to be the, the, in the fall like this. So let's do what we just uh, talked about: side chain pre. And if you turn this to play, nothing's going to happen. You need to mess with some parameters. Oh, so first thing you want to do is to set the attack to zero so it, as soon as the trigger signals uh, triggers the compressor it starts docking the signal and you want to play with this control like uh, for most genres uh, a value of 40 to 50 milliseconds can do the work Let's start with 40 and the other thing you want to do is to set up your ratio so uh, an infinite ratio is always a good place to start uh, because it's going to, to trigger evenly the signal and the other thing is the threshold and this one is really important because in a lot of like modern genres you want a really clean compression and sometimes you need to mess around with this uh, to find the right value you know? no, so, um, let's say for instance minus 30 db so it's doing the work perfectly. You, you can see here in this display the amount of signal that is being reduced when the kick hits on the snare. Now something that you maybe you notice now or maybe you when you're doing this with your music you're going to notice is that sometimes it takes a lot for the compressor to recover as soon as you hit the other, uh, the other note. On the signal and that's not a that's not a problem of this trigger because it's as you can hear it's a tiny click but it deals with the compressor sometimes not being fast enough to react to your incoming signals and, and effectively dock the signal so uh, I definitely recommend this technique for any genre like uh, sometimes right now this is like pretty uh, you know, like it's a, a really fast pace, but I, must say, I mean, if we will, if we were to play this at 120, maybe you can send this to 30 milliseconds. No, no, something like that. So that's this is one method for doing this stuff. Let me deactivate this group and activate the other one. Oh. So 
So this other method is using the Gatekeeper plugin. Um, Gatekeeper is a volume share repair utility with a lot of features. Uh, I just basically got it uh, on a sale. I think it's still on sale, so maybe you want to give it a chance. Um, this was completely recommended by Mr. Bill. Uh, some, um, a few months ago, he was talking in the forums and he made the exact same video as this one on his channel, but he's in Ableton. Uh, on how to use the gatekeeper plugin uh, for volume docking and this is my this is a method that I've been using since I got the plugin and before that I was using the the method with the dynamics so this is pretty simple let me go to first play for you guys so you can know what it sounds like <laughs> without the drums Yeah, so the thing about uh, Gatekeeper against all the volume manipulator plugins is that the, the lines and pretty much the envelopes are sample accurate, so you don't hear any click when it goes to 0 dB to minus infinite and then goes back to 0 again and repeats the process. So that's really, really important if you're going to use a tool like this. There are several other. I don't know if they work as well as this one. I tried one. I don't remember the name but it didn't work okay so i completely ditched that one and started uh, using the regular method and now i got this and i can use this but um you know just so you know and to set up this is really simple as well we just basically it's actually even simpler because we can use the same drums where the the thing that makes it work is that we're not using audio to trigger the the curve it's just the midi so in this group, I have a, 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 a note receiver device uh, taking the, the MIDI for, from the drums. So already my kick and my snare and send it down to Gatekeeper. And let me delete my Gatekeeper. And show you guys again how I made all this stuff. So note receiver. So you guys come here to source, set uh, your drums, drums. And if you go here to Gatekeeper, in all the effects when it shows when it shows up it has this like curve loaded and uh, you need to give it a chance to for it to load your something load your presets i don't know it's a bit weird but yeah so yeah let's close this and open it again but well, still on the same stuff yeah so you want to go here to docking uh dock eighth and basically set up your curve so i have this one like here um, so this value in milliseconds is pretty I think it's the equivalent of the of the release time that I show you in the compressor so a value of 50 or 40 is going to do the trick sometimes you can even like make it longer and still it's going to sound go good because we're basically uh, going from 0 dB to minus infinite in the compressor we're just doing a reduction of uh, 30 decibels and here it's going to minus infinite so it's pretty much uh, the same equivalent in terms of the the aspect of threshold and, and release. Yeah. Ah, sorry. And you need to unclick this play button so it's not a loop and it's basically triggered by the MIDI. Yeah, so it sounds like this. There is a third method native in the way that I think is really cool, but I've never used it. I I seen a friend of mine using it, and it's pretty much. Uh, let me look for the tool. Uh, uses using one of the modulators. There's actually a sidechain audio sidechain modulator that you can take the input, the audio input uh, of any sound, and use the attack and release. Um, knobs here same as the compressor to set up like uh, your 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 trigger signal basically and um, map this to any like volume or like whatever that reduces the amplitude of the signal and use that to trigger your sidechain and i mean this is really cool this this uh, audio sidechain uh, device makes any uh, for instance an eq into a dynamic eq i just think it's like i don't know it's 
it's something that I've never used, so I don't have like uh, like any solid reference to to give you. But I'm going to link a video a video in the description of this video that a friend of mine in the Big Big Group did, so you can have more insight on how to use this stuff and how it may work on your music. So yeah, hope you find this stuff useful. Uh, just for a little clarification, uh, Gatekeeper does way more than this stuff. It has a lot of features and a lot of stuff that you can use the curves to shape volume, to automate stuff, to send CV out. Uh, so far, I'm only using I'm only using it to trigger my my docking and my music. But yeah, it has a lot more stuff than this. So peace.